With all the news of sexual misconduct, the National Sexual Assault Hotline is currently seeing a big spike. Yesterday, they say a call increase uh, it was 149%. So today, the number of phone calls was 201% higher than yesterday. Now, as the world watches what will come out of the Kavanaugh confirmation, locally, it's inspiring people to speak out. One woman in particular is using this time to shed light on sexual abuse with her own stories. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's emotional. It hurts and there are a lot of tears. Amy Broyles was born with a gift and talking about things that have happened to them in the past. A gift to have the courage to speak up. openly about moments in her life when she felt sexually assaulted. It just kind of poured out with alleged sexual assaults taking over the headlines. Amy felt it was necessary to revisit some of the worst memories in her mind. I put a post on Facebook about what happened to me. Her post specifically detailed moments of her own personal sexual assaults, and she received a huge and positive response on Facebook. Basically saying, yeah, me too. Same thing happened to me. Dozens of women came forward detailing similar moments in their lives, something experts say is necessary in the healing process. I think it's crucial to not keep it bottled up. Amy Dilworth works at the Knoxville Family Justice Center and sees an overwhelming amount of people who say they've been sexually assaulted. It's much bigger than the reported numbers show. She says these moments stay with somebody forever. Absolutely. Um, it, it is a complete violation of everything that you are. As for Broyles, she says she understands why people keep it in. They're afraid of consequences. They're afraid of not being believed. Uh, people are afraid of losing their job. She believes the country isn't at a turning point with people coming forward, but says there has been a push in the right direction. And officials with the Knoxville uh, Family Justice Center say the best way to heal after something so traumatic is by opening up and talking to someone about it. They say that you can call their center or you can go there anytime.